rise of the planet of the monkeys. Colorful monkeys who don't happen to like people who wear green. Hey there, boys. Let's go get them. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? Time for another tutorial from VideoEditingSoftwareGuy.com. Today we're doing a tutorial on stop motion animation in Pinnacle Studio Ultimate Collection HD. So, let's get into it. First, let's talk a little bit about the scene. So, your setup is really important. You gotta have your setup to make it look and match the theme of what you're trying to do. So, I have a little cartoony little thing here on the bottom that matches the little cartoon monkeys and those toy soldiers, so it all fits in well. Now, I also have a blue screen here. You can get a green screen or a blue screen from any hobby shop. Uh, it's green screen or blue screen poster board. Places like Hobby Lobby Michaels. It costs about a dollar. Easy to get. Now, I also have lights for my scene. Now, one of these lights is pointed more towards the blue screen so I can light that. And one is pointed more towards the uh, models so I can light them separately. You got to do that. And another principle you want to remember besides the lighting is where you place your models at you got to place them further away from the blue screen because if you don't, they're going to blend into the blue screen or the green screen. You're going to have halos and spillage and stuff like that. So keep them off about six, seven, eight inches away from there so you don't get that spillage. Now, all this stuff is going to help you out because when you have that blue screen, the lighting, and the background, and the everything set up how you want, you can actually use any picture to place your models into any environment you want now. It has the same principles as a regular blue screen that you would use on a regular uh, talent or subject, even if it's a real person. So, that's my setup. Let's talk a little bit about movement so you know the best way to move your models so that it looks realistic. Now, of course, each movement has to be recorded frame by frame. So, I might want to start off by moving this uh, monkey's arm here and capture it. Then I might want to move his arm a little bit further up and capture it. I might want to move it further this way and capture it. And of course, any type of movement you're doing, whether you have your subject walking and then capture it and then moving his legs again, capturing it. Moving his legs again to the other side, capturing it. Of course, with these little figures I'm using, it's a little bit like, more difficult to do because you can do it a lot easier with things like Legos and stuff like that, but just gives you an idea. He's a little drunk right now, a little sloppy, so he fell down, but that's all right. We get him right. A little drunk monkey. I don't know what the hell he's been doing. But anyway, basically looking at all of these things, as far as the movement goes, you can get the idea and hopefully your models don't fall down or be drinking on the job like mine do. But anyway, make sure that each motion is moved and captured. If you want the smoother motion, use a higher frame per second. You want it to look more choppy, use a lower frame per second. All right? It's simple. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at all of this in our editor so we can go ahead and show you the steps to go through to get it done on your computer. All right, here we are in Pinnacle Studio Ultimate Collection. So I got some files on here, the movie I already made, but it's time for me to show you guys how to go ahead and do the stop motion animation within Pinnacle. Now, I wanna let you know a few quick things before we get started. For my camcorder, my digital camera, I had to use the uh, Pinnacle Dazzle in order to go ahead and get it to capture because my camcorder only has HDMI, composite, and uh, component, and USB connections. So the USB connection on mine only transfers data. So I had to have a Dazzle to do, and I connected the Dazzle to the, the audio video composite connection and then I connected the dazzle to the computer and then I'm able to capture so first thing you want to do is you want to click on import and once you do the studio importer comes up 
Now you'll notice that it sees the dazzle and underneath stop motion it has the dazzle as well. So I know that it's going to be capturing for me and I also know that because I have the image of what it's about to capture on the screen. So a few things you need to know. You can name your file whatever you want. You can capture from photos, uh, videos, or both. I'm going to do video. And I just named it Stop Motion Demo. Here you have this uh, onion skin mode. So this basically tells you how you can see the, the motion or the movement of your models as you go through. You can choose to have the onion skin not on there at all. Or you can choose them to be 50-50 of the next frame and a frame you captured previously. And then you can choose to have three, two, or one. I'm going to choose three so I can see three images of the motion that's going on. So I can see if it's a smooth, good motion. And I'm going to have it 50-50 so they're all about, they look about the same as far as transparency. Here you have how many frames per second you get. Now I said earlier you do 12 frames per second. And it'll look smoother, so I'm going to pick 12 frames per second. Now, once I do my first capture and I hit Capture Frame, you're going to see each frame down here at the bottom. Now, these are, are seconds, so this is one second all the way over here. So you can see that I have to capture 12 frames in order to get to one second. So I've captured my first frame already. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the model and I'm going to move it so you can see how the next frame would look. And now I'm going to hit, and as you can see, it already did the onion skin so I can tell how far along I'm moving. I didn't move it too much and I'm going to do capture frame. Now you can see this is my first frame and this is my second one. I move the model again, and now you see the third onion skin. I hit capture frame, and it moves it over, and now I have the three frames down here. Now, I can click on any of these. If I don't like how it looks, I can click on this one and click delete and remove it. Now, you basically just keep doing that. Keep making the motions and moving your, your model how you want to and capturing the frames. Once you're done... You hit start import. And Studio goes ahead and saves it onto the computer for you under your videos in a stop motion folder for you to go ahead and extract it from and use it in your videos. Now remember, stop motion animation takes a long time to make if you want to do it right. You got to get your motions looking smooth and believable. The one that I did, it was just to have something to show you guys the example of it, it's not the best. I didn't really want it to be the best. I just wanted to show you an example of what it would look like. But stop motion animation is fun and easy to do. You can make a lot of great movies with it. You can have a lot of uh, interesting little things. You can make anything happen with it, basically, kind of like a cartoon. So, there it is. How to make stop motion animation in Pinnacle Studio Ultimate Collection HD. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Few tips or a few things I'd like you to do for me. As always, there's a thumb down there that's pointed up. Click on it. Like this video. Leave me some comments. Comment on the video. Comment on anything that you want me to do. Whatever the case may be, just leave your comments. I love to hear from you. And yes, don't you ever forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.